Mr. Anderson. You must know it by now. You can't win. It's pointless to keep fighting. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Why do you persist? Because I choose to. Is so vulnerable to all of this. Uh, Giving away of our free will over a period of 400,000 years because we're trapped in a system that's constantly taking our energy away and never fully knowing that the remedy of, of the timeline wars was to put us in paradox and the paradox was we all have to agree in unity consciousness to get off the timeline at the exact same time that's the key no one graduates until we all graduate exactly that's my point now how many of us does it take to do that how many of us does There's, it take to stand of the seven billion three hundred million people here right now 65 percent actually have the graduation code but the system of domination and control must accept the code <laughs> and the only way it can accept the code is when we remove all our energy from it by declaring our sovereign free will oh thank you can you elaborate a little bit on that uh, please, that's that's. Are you, yeah, are you familiar with my uh, contract revocations uh, uh, for government yes. media? Those are the example of removing your energy from a system by not consenting to timeline wars, by not consenting to exchange for value systems. All of those are are a a framework for people to understand how deep that our system is intertwined with the lack of with our giving away of free will by declaring our free will with our all of our ancestors present we break the paradox and allow ourselves to exist in no time and in no time we can resolve all of our paradoxical issues with the infinite energy of our higher selves the higher selves can only give us the energy and the answers but the ever-present co-created mighty I himself is the only one that can make the choice points to actually do something about it. The future cannot help us. The past cannot help us. Only the present I am self can make the changes in disunity paradox remedy. Mm -hmm. and, and so how does a person actually begin to do this um, by declaring some of these statements that I've seen? But how do, how do you know when it's actually working? Well, that's the thing. For these statements to work, you must understand that you have a, a layer of energy inside you that represents your total potential. The vast majority of people on this world are literally only operating on 35 or 40 percent of their total available energy every day. So for you to be at 100 percent energy, you would be a much more powerful sentience that can, that can do things, that can do the exercise and not run out of the mental energy to continue to do it, to not live off of in the, the drip drop of inspiration and hope that we give ourselves. You have the mental force and the connection to your dream world to follow through and manifest your dreams when you're at that high of a level. When you begin contract revocation, you are working on the micro voltage level until you've gained enough of yourself back that you're putting even more into it the next time until you create the dynamo of removal so that all of your sovereign free will begins to return to you in such a way that each time you are revoking a contract, you're revoking it in the past, in the present, in the future, and that means the disunity paradox remedy reality loses you as a support system. And when we as a species begin to do it on a, on a scale that has the true voltage of infinity from our dream worlds, we can literally dismantle the system from within.